Good morning, everybody. My name is Nick from Miller Auto Body, St. Cloud, Minnesota. Why don't you come on in? We're going to show you some cool stuff today. Safety first. Back here is where we start the estimatics. Uh, right over here we have one of our guys taking the vehicle apart, getting ready for an estimate. We'll see if we can catch him. Morning Chandler. Morning. How are you doing today? Doing pretty good today, good weather, so just tore this one apart here. Uh, we got a Chevy Impala. Virtually uh, this damage here was from a deer hit, so the customer brought it into our shop here and as you can see, we'll be replacing the hood bumper and then what we do we take the fender off because the whole the deer just went across the whole fender and then it also scratched a little bit in here this is from the fender rubbing from the impact of the hit when a deer came in so when they open the door they kind of scratch the door a little bit so we'll be fixing that and then we do have some inner damage also what we do we see some inner damage in here also we have yellow marker where you can mark out everything for the estimators so as you can see it's a little dimple in there so we'll be fixing that, repairing that. Go ahead. We have all these missing parts here when we take the, all the parts off so we can do a complete estimate. So all the damaged parts, the replaced parts, we put on the bottom so it helps stay organized. And also we have these shoe racks in the back for hardware. So then all these parts up here, this is all gonna be reusable. Anything that's not damaged or prior damage, we're gonna reuse it all. So like something like this bumper here. We take this up here. As you can see, like snap broken pieces like this. This is considered replace. This is all from the deer hit. You can see some deer hair also. So that's something that we would replace. It's nice that you have everything completely organized and accounted for. So when it's time to put the car back together, it's not necessarily going to be you putting the car back together. Yeah, so he, else. he needs to have a perfect roadmap of everything going back on the car when the repair is complete so a big part of what we do here is make sure that each vehicle is meticulously disassembled so that we find every bit of damage every nut every bolt every clip every bracket we want to put the car back exactly to the way it was and being fully organized lets us make promises to the customer uh, say yes mrs johnson we will have your impala done by thursday and we don't want to run into any problems that's why we go through this take them all apart order everything in one shot and then then we can stick to stick to what we said so all right we'll head on over to the red car and show you some of the paint department on the way I'm gonna introduce you to this is Jade Jade's our production guy uh, Jade's in charge of making sure he knows exactly what's going on down the shop he knows which techs have which jobs when they're going what time they're going and um, he has a lot to do with our quality control and keeping promises here at Miller Auto Body. Hi, Jade. Hello. I was going to say, so right now I can spin this around too. So I'm actually just kind of updating our production schedule, um, which shows all the cars that are in process in the shop, where they're at in the process, what days they're promised for. Um, and this screen is actually about halfway back through the shop. There's a big screen TV that this production schedule is up on too. So our detail staff, our paint staff, they can all see when they're going to have different vehicles that are coming to them. And I try to go through this a couple times a day, update it as I see cars come up to the paint department or if they're coming out of the paint department. And then the estimators also can look at this and update their customers too to know where the vehicle's at in the process. Everybody, everybody's singing the same song. We don't want to see any red. I only see one red, so we're not doing so bad right now. Yeah, that one's actually done and gone. Sorry, I haven't updated that one. And now everybody knows. I'll bring you on over to the uh, paint department here. It looks like they just got done painting a, a fancy red car here. So um, when we do the painting, everything's masked out, protected from overspray. And uh, this is how the finish comes out before they do any type of reassembly. So um, another beautiful paint job. They're getting ready to roll this one out of the booth, back to reassembly. The finish has been fully baked, cooked onto the car. Um, and we don't have anything wet going out the door. So back to factory standards. That's what we go for here. All right, so before any of this happens, 
Uh, probably 80% of the work is in the preparation. I'll bring you on over to the guys that get everything ready before the final spraying. Right this way. Here we have one of our prep techs, Matt. Matt, how you doing? Good. <laughs> you kind of want to tell us how you're finishing this and how you're preparing it for paint and what you do to get it all ready? Basically, you got to take different grits of paper and make sure the paint sticks. And that way, paint doesn't fall off down the road. It looks like you got it all smoothed out, finished fine. This is a big part of having a nice paint job is making sure this step is done perfect. Yep. So, awesome. Well, thank you very much. Yep. It looks like they're getting another one all set and ready here. Um, one big thing that we do before we paint anything is we paint each panel the same way the factory would. That's why you see the glass cut out. That's why you see the tail lamp pulled out. That's why you see the rear bumper taken off. A lot of people think, well, I just need a little paint put right there. Well, we want to do it the exact same way the factory did it. That way we can warranty for lifetime and be proud of it. So they take a lot of pride in their craftsmanship and uh, that's what we're going for. Yep. Actually, you have to cut the gall dang glass out of it. <laughs> Why don't you guys follow me on over to the detail shop? We'll see if we can find somebody over here that checks the cars in. Good morning, Ryan. Morning. How are you doing today? Pretty good. How are you? Good. Uh, Ryan prep washes, checks in documents prior damage, photos the vehicle, gets it all set and ready to go to the production coordinator for dispatch. Um, you want to kind of show us how that yep. works on your app and um, how you're mapping the vehicle out? So pretty much what I'll do is I'll wash the vehicle first um, and then I have a CCC app on my phone um, which is where I will take 360 degree photos of the entire vehicle. Um, and then I'll take a picture of the license plate, all the vehicle information, such as mileage, fuel, a picture of the interior. Um, and then I'll go in and I'll go around the whole vehicle and pretty much photo any prior damage, like door dings, hail, um, scratches, rail dust, kind of stuff like that. Um, and then I do a virtual check-in as well that will pretty much show what features of the vehicle are working such as headlights, taillights, backup camera, um, assisted lift gates, kind of stuff along that. Um, and then I'll draw a grid on the window so everybody in the shop kind of understands who the vehicle is for, what insurance company, um, what kind of scans it gets. If it needs a test drive, it has to go to service. And uh, that's pretty much it, so yeah. Very, very important step in the process. Uh, you could think garbage in, garbage out. Everything that enters this shop needs to be clean, ready to rock and roll, and clearly conveyed to the technicians. Um, otherwise, we're working on a dirty car that we don't see all the damage on. All right, we're done with detail. Let's head on over to the body shop, to the metal department, and see if we can find somebody to talk to over here. Um, a lot like we said before, being organized, extremely organized, is a big part of our success here. Uh, we want to make sure everything is protected, and we want to make sure everything is itemized and ready to go back on the core. Everything needs to be accounted for. So, it looks like he's getting ready to weld new metal onto this vehicle. We'll see if we can find him uh, over here. Oh, hey, Drew. 
So right. this is this is Drew, one of our metal techs here, and he can kind of walk us through the. You got you're working on three cars at once right now, so yep. <laughs> a little going here, here, and here. Why don't you tell us about them? Well, this one over here, we're doing a bunch of rust replacement on it. Uh, I have rocker panels all fitted, about ready to go on. Um, on this car here, yep, keep going. it was a deer hit right into the left front. So right now I'm fixing all the fender mounts and fitting a fender, measuring it up, making sure everything's square in the front end. When and you say when you say measuring the front end, we always see cars that are put back together that don't quite fit right. <laughs> This would be a, a very important step. Yeah, this is a pretty handy tool that we can use to measure point to point. We can measure out all these mounts and square everything up before we even start fitting metal, just so we have a good starting point. A good square foundation to build off of. And then it looks like you have a, a brand new door and a brand new fender. Yep, got the door fit. Next is the fender. And then we'll put a headlight and a bumper on it and fit the hood and send it to paint. Awesome. It's nice working with nice new parts. Mm -hmm. Drew, can you tell us how you got into this and why you love it? Yeah, I started working on cars as a little kid with my dad. And it just kind of put a passion in me and decided to go to school for it. And now I'm doing it full time. I've been working on cars for 17 years now and it's going fast and I just enjoy it. I like taking a car that's all smashed up or one that's all rusty and make it look like brand new. So, cool. get a good enjoyment out of it. It's a rewarding sense of accomplishment to see it all put back together, especially yes. when they're torn down like this. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Drew. Appreciate your time. Yep. We'll sneak out this way. And it's not only Buicks that we work on, or Nissans, Fords, Mer Mercedes, trucks, we work on everything. So we're certified in many of the OEMs um, to have the proper training and tooling to make sure that the cars are put back on the road safely. Um, we take a lot of pride in that. So we got guys with many years of experience, and uh, it's a rewarding, it's a very rewarding industry to be in. Let's go in here and check this out quick. So this is where we mix all of the paint, any paint. If you drive a Chevy or a Lamborghini, it really doesn't matter. Um, we can mix any color, any amount, and make it perfectly match your vehicle. Uh, when you pick out a color, uh, say on your red Chevy, there may be five, six, seven different toners to make up that red. Everything is calculated out, the waste is all disposed of, and we use an environment-friendly, water-based type of color. So.